Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. One of the coolest technologies to come out in the last few years is the wireless personal hotspot. You may know it as a MiFi. The MiFi is available on various carriers like Sprint and Verizon. It comes in the form of a small device about the size of a deck of cards, but usually a lot thinner. And what it does is it takes in the wireless data, the internet connection from the cell phone company, and spits out Wi-Fi that you can use for your laptop or netbook or iPad or whatever needs Wi-Fi. These things are super cool because they have a lot of battery life, they offer very high speeds of connection, and you can use them pretty much anywhere. So you can use them at the park, the back seat of a car, at the Starbucks, really wherever you are. Problem is, they cost a lot to use every month, so they're about $50 to $60 to use the data, and you probably already have a data plan on your smartphone. So in this video, we're going to show you three different programs on Android WebOS and Windows Mobile that will turn your phone into a personal wireless hotspot. We'll see how well it works and the speeds that you get through them. Let's take a look. Okay, let's start things off with the Android phones. We're going to go into settings and change the Wi-Fi network uh, after I turn on the Wi-Fi router program or the wireless tether program here on the Nexus One. So it says press here to start tethering and it's going to take a moment. Okay, and it's tethering and I should see Android appear here in the Wi-Fi network list after it refreshes. Good, there it is and I'm going to connect to that. Great, we're connected. Okay, let's first test the speed. Right now we're still tethered here with the, uh, the Android application. So I'm going to go to speedtest.net application and uh, hit begin test. See what we get. We're probably going to get over 2 megabits per second, which is quite impressive to think that you can take your cell phone out of your pocket and get a 2.2 megabit per second connection on your iPad or laptop or netbook. Really fantastic. And we're going to get 1.5 megabits per, or 1.6 megabits per second up, almost 1.7. So let's go to the web and just browse around here. We're on pocketnow.com. I'm going to just click on a permalink and see how fast it loads, just so you can get a sense for what this would be like on your laptop or other device. So pretty fast, things pop up pretty quickly. Uh, we can jump around to various things and it's, it's fast, it's pretty fast. So let's test the next device and see how it compares uh, to this. So next up, we are going to use the Touch Pro 2 here. And on the Touch Pro 2, we're going to use the Wi-Fi router application well-known application that a lot of people use to get that wireless hotspot. So I'm going to click start and it says connecting and I'm going to jump into Wi-Fi and change the network. Okay, down here it says Wi-Fi router and that is the Touch Pro 2. We're connected now. So again, both of these devices, the Android device, the Nexus One and the, uh, the Touch Pro 2 are both on AT&T's HSDPA network, which is relatively fast around here. So I'm going to jump back into speedtest.net. We're trying to beat about 2.2 megabits per second. Don't think we're going to, but let's see how fast we can get through the Touch Pro. Touch Pro 2, actually. It looks like about 1.7. Going to 1. Point, yep, 1.8 megabits per second down, which is still quite impressive. And then we get... Uh, about 1.5 1. 1. or 1.6 up. Let's go to the web browser and see what it's like to just bounce around to different things. So I'll tap on that story and see how fast it is. So naturally it's a little bit slower than before uh, because the, the clock speed is a little bit lower. I'm going to wait for that to load and we'll jump to the next thing down here. Not too bad though. So let's test the last device here, the Verizon Palm Pre Plus, using the wireless hotspot application um, that you could get on the market. I think you still can get it on the market, or they call it the catalog for WebOS. So we'll go back here, we'll turn on the hotspot program, and then we'll change in the settings. Okay, down here, here we are, WebOS network. Connect to that, and we're connected. And I just got a vibration from the, uh, the Palm Pre Plus to let me know that I am connected. So I'm going to jump back here, go to the speedtest.net application, click begin test. Okay, so we're on Verizon's EVDO Reb A network, which isn't that strong around here. Um, so as you can see, we're not getting nearly as fast speeds as we got on AT&T's uh, HSDPA network.
So much slower, but still not too bad. Uh, let's jump into the browser and go to another story. Dell Lightning Windows Phone 7 leak. See how fast it loads. So definitely much slower than the Touch Pro 2 and the Nexus 1, but still certainly capable if you have a WebOS device. So again, that was just a quick look at three devices that can act as a wireless hotspot. Again, I'll post links on pocketnow.com so that if you have Windows mobile phone, an Android phone, or a WebOS device, you can get this application. Um, and if you have an unlimited data plan or a data plan capable of tethering, then you will be able to do this. That's it for now.